I used to live in this old apartment when I was younger. It was really an old house that was converted into a duplex, I guess. I had a kitchen, living room, bedroom, and bathroom. Then there was a staircase going down to a very small entryway and the door. The other side, I guess, had basically the same thing, but I didn't know who lived there or anything. So I lived in this apartment for several months. It was cheap and pretty close to my work. Other than that, it was nothing special. I never knew anything strange to happen over the course of the first month that I lived there. I pretty much would be at work a lot, but when I was home I never had any problems. But then there were a few nights where I realized I was waking up in the middle of the night. I just know that I woke up and then went back to sleep pretty much right away one time. Then another time, I woke up to what I thought was a noise, but I didn't hear anything more after waking up. I remember sitting up in bed and listening closely but did not hear anything at all. So eventually, I just went back to sleep. This was strange because I normally slept really well and never woke up in the night. These were situations that I didn't even necessarily remember during the next day. But then when I woke up in the middle of the night for a third time in about a week, I was sure I heard a noise and I found it really strange. Once more, I sat up and listened, but I didn't hear any more noises. I couldn't figure out if I was dreaming the noise or if it happened when I was awake. It just seemed pretty strange. But after a while of nothing again, I finally fell back asleep. I wasn't really sure what was going on or what was the cause of me waking up. But then, one of the very next nights, I remember that I woke up again. I don't really remember hearing any noises, but I also was like wide awake immediately after waking up, which was weird. I didn't sit up, but rolled over to my other side. I was looking in the rest of the room, which was completely dark, but I then heard a small creaking sound. It was as if my bedroom door was being opened slowly. I looked over and saw that it was. Then I saw somebody suddenly enter the room from the doorway. It was a man, but I couldn't make out any details. The guy took a step into the room, but did not advance any farther. I was literally too scared to move. It was so dark that I'm not sure if he knew I was awake or not. The man then took out some sort of camera and took a picture of me. Then he disappeared back behind the doorway, going into the hall. I honestly couldn't believe it. I didn't know what on earth was happening. Then I heard some creaking from the floor in the hallway, and I heard a noise like a door being opened and closed. It was quiet, but noticeable. After that, everything went completely silent again. I sat in bed without hearing anything for probably the next 10 or 20 minutes. I wasn't sure if I was being robbed or what but I hadn't heard any noises in a long time. I finally got up and walked around my bedroom. There still was no other sounds, and then I left and went out into the hallway. I turned on a light and did not see or hear anything. Then I went around every room slowly and looked around. My place really wasn't that big, so it didn't take me long to realize that the other person was gone. But when I got to the end of the hallway upstairs, past my bedroom and across from a closet, I realized what must have happened. There was a door leading to my next door neighbors. However, this door I was told was not in use and was always locked. It even had a small table with a lamp on it in front of it and the door was painted the same color as the wall, so it wasn't really that noticeable. But I knew that had to be where the person had gone. For some reason, the door must not be locked on the other side. After that, I couldn't sleep. I stayed up the rest of the night. In the morning, as soon as I was able to, I contacted the management from my place. I reported what was happening, and I started looking for another apartment immediately. The next few nights, I stayed at a friend's. Long story short, there was a man who lived next door, and he was caught. I'm happy that he never got in my place again after that. The times I had been waking up must have been when he left to go back to his place, possibly when he was closing the door. I will never forget seeing him in my room. It was the creepiest situation that's ever happened to me. I live in what I would describe as a pretty standard apartment. The last one I lived in two years ago was very similar as well. The building had a few basic hallways and tons of units. I had a parking space in the underground garage and there were several apartment buildings in the complex. It was like right in the middle of my lease when I had been living there for about six months when some weird things happened. My apartment was on the second floor of the building, kind of towards the end of a hallway. One night, I was awoken to the sound of banging on my door. 
This happened to be a Friday night at about 3 o'clock in the morning. Somebody was repeatedly banging on my door, and it seemed about as loud as they could. I just laid there in bed and waited for it to stop. But after it continued for about 10 seconds straight, I decided to get up. However, once I had made it out of my bedroom, the knocking finally stopped. I could hear somebody walking away down the hallway then. I went to the peephole and I looked out, but the person was gone. I didn't really want to open the door and look out into the hallway, so I didn't. I just went back to bed and didn't hear any more knocks. The next day, I was thinking about it, remembering being woken up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I figured at that point it was probably somebody who was coming home drunk from the bars or something. It made perfect sense, because it had been a Friday night, and they probably got back and just started banging on a random door, either just to mess with somebody or because they accidentally went to the wrong place. So I really wasn't that concerned about it. However, at some time the next week, it happened again. Once more, I woke up to someone pounding on my front door. I had a bad feeling about it, not knowing who this was. I didn't really know any of my neighbors. I wasn't sure if it was one of them or somebody else that was random. This time, I did not get up. I just waited for the knocking to end, which took maybe 10 or 20 seconds roughly. When it finally ended, I stayed up for almost another hour because I really wasn't that tired anymore. I was finally able to get back to sleep a while later, but this was pretty annoying. Several nights went by before it happened again. This time, it was a little earlier though. I was still awake and in my living room watching TV. All of a sudden, there was a knock at the door. It seemed normal at first, but then it turned into a loud bang. I was so confused. I really didn't want to get up and I stayed on my couch. The knocking on the door lasted for the usual 15 seconds or so and then it stopped. This time I once more heard the person walking away and the rest of the night I didn't hear anything more. Nothing strange happened for a few weeks after that. I had almost forgotten about the whole ordeal. But then randomly it happened again. This time once more I was already awake and in the living room. It was pretty late though and was after midnight. As I sat on the couch in my living room, I heard this loud pounding on my front door. It was crazy just how hard this person was banging on it. I stayed where I was like usual. This time, it seemed to last a little bit longer though, like maybe around 30 seconds. Then I decided to get up and look. I walked over to the door, and it was like the person heard me. When I got within a couple of feet of the door, the knocking stopped, and I heard them walking away. I looked through my people and saw no one. This time, I opened up the door and looked out into the hallway. When I did, I actually saw someone. There appeared to be a man walking away, but I only saw his back. He did not turn around and look at me or anything. The man was walking quickly, and I only saw him for maybe five seconds. Then he reached the door that led to the stairs and opened it, and then he was gone. I went back inside after that. For the entire rest of the time that I lived in my apartment, I never heard any more knocking. I don't know who that guy was, I didn't recognize him. Why he chose to always knock on my door, I also don't know. It really gave me the creeps though.